In this video, I'm going to give you five tips to help you buy the right portable power station. I have reviewed over 20 of these portable lithium power stations now. Unfortunately, it's very difficult to determine the long-term quality, reliability, and performance of a unit from a week or two test drive. So take review videos with a grain of salt. And yes, that includes my videos. But over the years, I've figured out a few clues that might help you make a better purchase decision. Tip number one is the major brands are good for a reason. Now, that might seem like a duh comment, but hang with me for a second. Like I said, I've reviewed over 20 of these units now, and there's almost always a huge difference in quality and performance between the big name brands and the upstart brands. So brands like Jackery, Blue Eddy, EcoFlow, Lion Energy, and others have earned their reputation for good products, and that reputation earns them a higher price tag. Power stations from these brands are generally going to use better sales internally and better electronics. They generally have much better support too than other brands. So it might not be worth saving a little bit on that no-name unit if longevity and support are high priorities for you. Tip number two is look for third-party tools to help give you additional clues about brands you've never heard of. I'm sure there are dozens of them out there, but I'll share with you a couple of them that have been helpful for me. First is a site called camelcamelcamel.com. This is a third-party site that's not affiliated with Amazon, but tracks pricing history for Amazon products. So you can plug in the URL for a listing on Amazon, and you'll be able to see the complete price history of that listing. This is useful for two reasons. Number one, you can tell if you're getting a good deal at the time. But more importantly, number two, you can look in the bottom left corner there, and you can see how long this product has been listed on Amazon. That can be critical so that you know a product is not something that's just released on the market and has a little bit of a reputation to uphold. We'll get into fake reviews in a minute, but generally speaking, if a product was just listed a month or two ago and they've got over 100 perfect reviews, I would run away. And that leads us to the second tool that I want to mention, and that is fakespot.com. This is a browser plugin that you can install that will help you analyze and detect fake reviews. It works on Amazon really well, but also works on Shopify and other third-party e-commerce stores. Here you can see a product that has seemingly almost perfect reviews, and you might be tempted to think that this is amazing. But if you dig a little bit deeper, you'll see that it's just an average product and has average reviews. You can see that in the upper right corner there. You'll also notice it tells you that this is a new seller, which means they don't really have a reputation. So they may be good or they may not be very good at customer service and order fulfillment. Moving on to tip number three is watch a YouTube review video, but not for the reason you think. Watch it and look for clues that are not spoken. What I mean by that is pay attention during the unboxing and the close-up shots, especially to the packaging, the owner's manual, and the product label. If you can see the label clearly in the video, look to see if it has the brand name on the label. If it doesn't, it could be a clue that you're looking at a copycat or a generic design that's OEM'd by numerous brands. Here you can see this Energizer unit is licensed by a company that you've probably never heard of. And this Jastec unit has no branding on the label, meaning it's probably a design shared by a lot of different brands that all share the same labeling. Most manufacturers with a reputation to uphold are going to be proud to put their brand label on everything because they're proud of their products and also that's good for name recognition and marketing. And by the same token, look at the packaging and owner's manual in the video and see if it has a brand name on it. If it doesn't, what does that say about the product? And finally, if you're looking at a brand name you've never heard of, See if you can find other units for sale with the same specs and the same case in the pictures. Again, do you want to buy a product from a company that doesn't own the design? Tip number four is, there's no such thing as a perfect power station, so stop trying to look for one. Every manufacturer has to make design decisions that are trade-offs. For example, if they use lithium ion cells, the unit will be slightly lighter and smaller, but will not have the same cycle life and has a higher chance of thermal runaway than lithium iron phosphate. Another example is if the manufacturer adds in Bluetooth and Wi-Fi radios, 
it adds extra cost to the unit. But more importantly, it also depletes the battery a little bit faster to power those radios all the time. So, look for the features you want and be willing to live with the weaknesses that don't affect you. So, for example, if you're going to use this for a CPAP machine in your RV overnight, you probably don't need a model that has a Bluetooth app and an expansion pack capability. But you might want a built-in flashlight by the bedside there, the ability to turn off the LED display, and a wireless charger to put your phone on. Now there be a unit out there with the perfect combo of features and strengths for your application. And finally, tip number five, always, always, always try to contact their support before you buy. First of all, do they have their own website or can you only find their products on Amazon? And if they do have their own website, do they have an 800 number listed or an actual email address to contact them? If they only have a mail contact form like you see here, that's a bad sign. But go ahead and make up some product question and submit it anyway and see how long it takes them to answer. If they don't respond, time to move on. But if they do respond, what time did you get the email? If it's 4 a.m. or something, that's a clear sign that support is in China. So take that for what it's worth. If the company doesn't have their own site, you're going to be stuck relying on Amazon to facilitate communications and warranty support. And that's only going to be helpful for the first 30 days. After that, your warranty isn't worth much. That does it for this video. Hopefully you learned something and found it useful. Please leave a thumbs up and a comment below.